Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a random one. I've actually been wanting to do this video for a long time, but basically today I am just going to be sharing with you all of my favorite lip balms, lip products, lip treatments, tips and tricks as to how I keep my lips hydrated because it has been a journey. Um, there's a couple videos like I did a year and a half ago, like late 2018, where I would like apologize on camera for having really chapped lips. Um, and I have definitely come a long way since then. And I mainly accredit that to one product, but there are a number of things that I incorporate in my routine. And I wanna go over with you all of my favorite products, how I use them, what I recommend, um, if you are someone who also struggles with chapped lips. Um, and I know this is kind of like an old fashion video maybe nothing too exciting it's not clickbaity or um, really just something that is that exciting but to me I find these videos very helpful so maybe if you're interested or you have been struggling with the same thing as I did so don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post all videos cruelty free empties tutorials hauls get ready with me's all that kind of stuff and obviously would love to hear what you would want to see as well so make sure you always leave requests below and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it. So I use lip balms, lip glosses all day long. In every single purse, and every single crevice of my house, at my desk at work, I always have some kind of lip product. In the morning, I will wake up and I recommend, I don't do this every single day, but if you're gonna go in with a lipstick for the day, especially a liquid lipstick, or if you just have chapped lips, definitely go in with an exfoliator. Especially since you were sleeping overnight and you would want to really like slough off those dead skin cells, um, going in with a lip scrub in the morning before you go in with any of your makeup for the day is definitely something that I would recommend and definitely has helped me. So the three that I recommend, their different price points are these three right here. This is the e.l.f. Um, Mint Maniac. They have a bunch of different flavors. This is a lip exfoliator and this this is actually a brand new one. I've used quite a few of these quite a few times, but this one I actually keep in my little travel purse right here because this is so good for being on the go. It's very portable. Um, this is what it looks like right here. It's just kind of like a little bullet. It looks like a lipstick, but it's actually a lip scrub. And what I recommend is when you first get this, it's gonna be smooth to the touch, which is obviously not ideal. Just rub it on the back of your hand, dry until it reveals the grittiness and it will. So now it is ready to scrub. And I don't know if you can tell, but the um, granulars definitely made themselves more pronounced. This is awesome, it's $3, it's so portable, it's so convenient to just do anywhere. I typically like to bring this with me on the go because I go to work and I wear lipstick and halfway through the day after I've eaten a little bit, my lipstick can kind of look crumpy and crusty and bunchy. And before I wanna go in with any other product, instead of just layering that up over and over again, you're gonna wanna go in with a lip scrub to remove all that dead skin cells first before you go in with a new application. Otherwise, it's just gonna look way too much, way too clunky and just not comfortable afterwards. So definitely recommend doing that. And this guy is awesome because it kind of leaves like a nice emollient texture. A lot of these lip scrubs I'm gonna talk about leave that kind of waxy um, feeling. So it helps really coat your lips. I still always recommend just rinsing your lips after you go in with any lip scrub so that residue doesn't stay sitting on your lips. And that way your lipstick or whatever you go in with afterwards doesn't adhere to that grittiness, if that makes sense. Another lip scrub that I like that's also moderately priced if you're more interested it in a pot. This is the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Scrub. You can get this for about $6 at Ulta. Tree Hut is a great brand that makes great body scrubs. I am a huge fan of their body scrubs and this lip scrub is awesome too. It smells like peppermint, which is great. I always love kind of like a scented minty lip scrub because it just leaves like that nice sensation on your lips as well. Um, and this is the Polishing and Hydrating Lip Scrub. So it looks like this, as you can see, and it has kind of like that same sugary texture, but it's a little bit grittier. It has literal sugar particles, I think. Like, and if you rub on the back of your hand, like this is super coarse, but the sugar just really helps get into your lips and exfoliate everything, especially if you have a lip color, like for example, this one's a really dark vampy color that might stain. So I'll always go in with something like this to really just remove everything off of there because sometimes a makeup remover or your face wash isn't just gonna do it off the bat. So I really like this as well. The only problem is if you have long nails, Digging your finger into this is probably not the easiest and also it's not as sanitary, but I always make sure I wash my hands and do this as kind of like my last step in my morning routine. After I wash my hands, after I've washed my face, after I brush my teeth, before I go in with any of my cream products. And then this guy I wanna talk about too, this is the Ole Henriksen Lucky Pucker Lip Scrub. This I hauled in my fall Sephora VIB sale haul and I really like the texture of this lip scrub, but mine is just broken. Like mine won't 
go up anymore, but I'm still using it. It's a larger lip scrub, so it's probably easier to just get all of your lips at once. It's perfect for those of us who are lazy and want something easy and convenient. This definitely is, and it smells like apple cinnamon. It's amazing. This one is waxy, but because it is a pressed kind of like balm, um, it's not gonna have like those sticking out sugar particles like this um, pot of lip scrub does. But it's still really nice. It does a great job of exfoliating your lips. Um, and yeah, it, it smells really, really nice. Now, the nice thing about these lip scrubs is that they don't leave your lips feeling bone dry. Like ideally, yes, you would wanna go in with a lip balm afterwards, but in case you forget or you don't want to, this does a good job of just leaving that kind of nice residual effect behind. So after I go in with my lip scrubs comes lip balms. Now, there are so many different lip balms. I am going to give you kind of a rundown of ingredients I tend to avoid. I try to avoid petroleum, which is found in Vaseline and Aquaphor. And petroleum actually, it makes your lips feel so coated and so nourished. But I have found that for me, it just kind of dries my lips out over time and doesn't really do anything to really penetrate my lips and moisturize from within. It just kind of acts like a little shield. So by the time it wears off, my lips don't really feel like, like hydrated, like they need something else again because that petroleum ingredient was like a barrier and didn't actually penetrate my lips to hydrate, if that makes sense. And another ingredient I try to avoid is mineral oil. Now, mineral oils in a couple of lip glosses that I use, like this Dominique Cosmetics one, this Steve Laurent lip gloss, and they do feel very nice and nourishing. Um, but again, same kind of thing. Mineral oil is something that kind of just dries out my lips over time. The NYX Butter Glosses are such an amazing gloss, so affordable, they feel amazing. But long term, I was starting to realize that with my lips it just wasn't working for me um, it's nice if you want something kind of like in the moment you don't really care about long-term effects and maybe you're not as um, adverse to it as I am but for me I have really really dry lips like it's very weird my whole being is oily I have oily skin oily everything but for some reason my lips are bone dry um, maybe it's because I live in Las Vegas and it's a desert so maybe but um, yeah I just can't use those lip glosses long term. So I try to avoid getting lip products that have those two ingredients primarily. Now I am always going in with lip balms. I keep a plethora of lip balms all around my house, my desk, my purse. Um, at my home, these are my three lip balms I will tend to use. I keep this by my couch in my living room. This one isn't my favorite to be honest, but it's a good kind of like um, here and there lip balm for when I'm like sitting on the couch and need to put something on my lips, not going anywhere, it's not gonna give any color. This is the Pharmacy Honey Butter Beeswax Lip Balm beeswax honey kapaku butter um, it does hydrate my lips and it is that standard kind of lip balmy formula it's not super duper hydrating but it's good for a nice quick fix and the ingredients are good it's all natural it doesn't dry out my lips but with this I do find that because it's not a thicker more intense formula I will have to reapply um, pretty often but I'm okay with that because I know that this purpose of a lip balm is just to you know fix your lips in a pinch and that's what this does the lip balm that i go in with i keep right here by my vanity i always go in with this lip balm before i apply any of my lipstick is this guy right here this is the hemp's minted sugar and spice net mic herbal lip balm this is the holiday edition which obviously we're not in Christmas anymore but I did want to still mention this because this is such an amazing formula um hemp's if you don't know is a brand that makes a lot of their products with hemp seed oil but it doesn't have THC it's not going to get you high but hemp seed oil can really be good at helping to nourish your skin your lips and this is like a thicker balm like this truly just feels thick but not in a sticky way it's just thick in the sense that it really just nourishes your lips like when you apply it this is definitely a thinner formula you would be able to tell the difference and this just feels so nice on your lips if you're not into the scent which i have mentioned before if you're not into the scent uh, i think they have other lip balms or lip scents and i definitely want to check those out but because i got this in the holidays i wanted to just get this and i really really do like it it's kind of like the bite beauty agave lip balm that one is definitely thicker waxier and tackier but this one is kind of like a nice in between for someone who doesn't want something super duper tacky but your lipstick still adheres nicely to it and it still hydrates your lips like this i really do feel like can you guys hear the thunderstorms that's why maple's over here she's like not in her bed in the living room because she's like scared of thunder um and i have like my patio door open to let some fresh air in um but anyway yeah so this is really really nice and this is always a lip balm i go in with 
Immediately after I brush my teeth and I'm getting ready for my day, it's awesome. The Catrice Lip Oil with Sweet Almond Oil is something that's a really nice experience. If you're not into balms, maybe you don't like that lingering sensation, this is a really good alternative. This is in the color or sense 010 Smooth Operator. It has sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. Vitamin E is also an ingredient that I have found to be in a lot of lip balms and I really, really like it. It smells amazing. It's literally just a dropper. You put like one to two drops, but when you blend it into your skin or your lips, it just kind of melts into your lips. It doesn't leave a barrier. It just sinks into your lips and really just nourishes them because lip balms, they kind of like coat your lips, obviously, right? The oil just kind of sinks into your lips and you don't really feel that lasting like tackiness, obviously, but you do feel your lips are super, super soft. And I love going in with this too. If I'm doing my makeup, it's usually these two, mostly this because it's just easier to just swipe on. But let's say like I'm doing my makeup in the middle of the day, which is what I did today. And I already had lip balm from earlier. I didn't want to reapply. I just put this in a pinch and it just smoothed out my lips and prepped it perfectly for lipstick. This really does get your lips ready for lipstick. I wouldn't recommend going in with it right before you put on your lip balm though, because obviously you need that time for the oil to penetrate into your lips. But after it sinks in for a couple minutes, you're good to go and your lips feel so nourished. Not even when you have to go in with lipstick, just in general, it's awesome. So those are kind of like my standard lip balms. Now I wanna talk about what I use throughout the day. If I'm not using a lip balm, I really do believe in lip oils and I really do believe in lip glosses. And honestly, I think that lip glosses coat my lips and make them feel more nourished and last longer than a lip balm. And it's crazy because glosses are not necessarily meant for that, but for me, it just really does that and not all of the glosses are like that like some of the really thin ones they don't really leave that nice sensation some of the really thick tacky ones they're a little bit too tacky and not nourishing enough even though they smooth out your lips and they leave your lips feeling like not as dry obviously because you have something on them it doesn't necessarily make your lips feel like ah like nice and and cushiony and soft so i want to talk about a couple lip glosses that i personally really really like if i'm using them in the middle of the day number one the essence shine 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 lip gloss i spoke about this in my march favorites which i'll link above and below but this is just a great clear anytime gloss it is truly amazing i'll put some on right now you don't need a lot but that shine it just sticks on your lips and it just makes it feel and stay so nourished and so hydrated. And because you have a gloss on your lips, it's not going to fade as fast as a balm because you have something like another layer of like hydration. It's like sticky, it's thicker, and obviously it's going to just last longer. And this is a great formula because it's not necessarily a sticky gloss, but it's not necessarily a super thin gloss. It's right in the middle. The Tarte Lip Slip Vegan Lip Oil is one that I keep in my purse. This is like my go-to like anytime lip balm. It's like a lip oil and I use it because it smells so good. And I would consider this like a thick gloss. Like it's definitely not like a plumping gloss, but it's definitely thick and sticky. And that just really just helps your lips stay smooth and nourished for some reason when i put it on my lips and i feel that stickiness it doesn't necessarily feel like the best but i know that it keeps my lips hydrated long term and i do have to reapply this but i love the sensation i love the feeling and i do think that this is a great job and i love the experience my window's closed, but I wonder if you can hear that. I want to give a shout out to the Morphe glosses as well. The shade Pixie is one of my favorite glosses ever. It is such a nice, comfortable lip gloss. It's not too thick, not too sticky. Definitely less thick and sticky than this. Um, I would consider these to have a similar consistency, but this one just kind of feels almost a little bit nicer on the lips. It feels like serum -y, but it does give your lips a nice shine. This is awesome. And I want to say probably my favorite lip gloss formula for this purpose are these guys right here. The ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips are freaking amazing. I always find myself using the shade At A Girl. This is like my one of my favorite ones. This is just so comfortable. It's like a thin brush, but it just goes on your lips, not thick at all, but it gives your lips such a nice luster and that nice sheen but it's so soft and just so comfortable. It feels like a serum, but it's not super duper thin. It's just a great consistency and it gives you that perfect shine. It has a lot of glitter in it if you choose to get this formula, but I also love their opaque shades like Wish and also um, 
are we done these are beautiful they give you opaque color if you want something that maybe your lipstick's worn off throughout the day and you want to go in with lip gloss again these are awesome and they're so comfortable if i had to recommend one lip gloss formula to keep your lips feeling really really nice because they do last a long time too it's the ColourPop ultra glossy lip the high shine finishes not the original um with their doe foot applicator the one with the brush tip applicator for some reason i think the formula is better it has jojoba oil it's really really nice i love it i also want to mention the fenty beauty lip glosses because those are the ones i keep at my desk i will put a picture of it right here the fenty beauty and fenty glow that's the original it's definitely a little bit sticky but it's so comfortable so ultra shine and that's the one that i keep at my desk and just throw on my lips whenever they're in a pickle boom 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 out the door onto the next meeting it's great and then i also want to mention i don't have this product here either because it's at my desk and i can't go to my office because it's on lockdown and i'm on lockdown the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze in the shade Chronic. I think that's the only one. It comes out green in like a metal applicator and it's definitely a thicker lip balm. Like that's definitely something that's gonna give you shine, yes, but that's not its primary purpose. Its primary purpose is to just nourish your lips and it has CBD oil. It just really makes your lips so soft and it just coats them and makes them last a really long time and it does do a good job of actually hydrating your lips from within i love that guy it's so good it smells a little bit herbally but i love that product and it's a great thing to just put on your lips when you're in a pickle um because you have to apply it directly you'll get lipstick on it if you have lipstick on the applicator but um other than that it's amazing okay and then I want to close with this video by saying, obviously, I told you my exfoliation tips. Don't constantly just layer lip products on throughout the day because it's going to make it chunky and not nice. Peeling my lips, I, I, I feel like I have OCD tendencies. And I had read that um, peeling your lips was kind of like an OCD tendency. And I definitely did that. I don't anymore unless I have like a, like a loose spot, which even if you do, you shouldn't peel it. But I personally would just sit there and not even know and just peel my lips, like peel my lips, peel my lips. And it got to a point I would like tell my best friends about it. And they were like, you should stop doing that. Like it was a full fledged issue that I had kind of like internally, but I guess I was like bored or I wasn't even realizing it. But anyway, um, I stopped doing that. <laughs> and that in conjunction with this next product, I feel was the biggest transformation for my entire lips. And that is this guy right here. I have used um, the Burt's Bees lip mask. I've used a couple other lip masks, Aquaphor, Vaseline, which petroleum, not my favorite thing, but this changed my lips. And I got this about a year ago and I'm still going through it. Um, and I had apologized in my April favorites last year because I discovered this in April and I was like, it's not cruelty free, but I was desperate you guys and I, I was trying to try everything and I feel like this is the one thing that I will break my moral compass for because this is so good and I want to try other alternatives if you have other alternatives that compare to this if you've tried this please let me know but this is amazing this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask they have the bubblegum shade that's their classic original shade I have vanilla and I actually want to buy sweet candy in the next VIB sale it smells like vanilla it's very mild it's not super duper intense but this you can see i'm almost out of it but this tub lasts so long you just do a little bit at night it comes with a spatula i don't use it i just take my finger and a little goes such a long way and i don't know what it is about this where it's not thick but it is thick and it's not waxy and it's not sticky but it's so hydrating i will wake up the next morning and still feel this on my lips like like feel it on my lips that's how insanely moisturizing it is and Honestly, I noticed a difference after I started using this that, wow, my lips were not peeling as much. They were not as prone to just being all cracky and crumbly. This truly is an amazing product and I highly recommend it. If I could recommend one thing out of all these products I'm talking about today that is essential to keep your lips nourished and hydrated, it's this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because you use it overnight and it just makes your lips feel nice and it makes your lips prepped and and ready for all these steps that i mentioned earlier you know so definitely check it out it's really really amazing if you know of any good cruelty free dupes i would love to check it out but i gotta say like i ride hard for this it's unparalleled in my opinion all right everyone and that is it for today's video i'm sorry if it was a little bit random but i am passionate about lips i think lips just if you're cracked and crumbly you don't feel good you don't look good and i think it's important to kind of just sit down every once in a while and share some of my favorite products for um one specific 
cause concern issue so yeah let me know if you like this video down below let me know if you'd like to see anything else kind of like in this um family where i can show you my collection of products from that one thing but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and hopefully i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye